Whether 15 below or 5 above, the PG Iceman is an event that always draws a huge crowd in Prince George. More than 50 solo athletes and nearly 150 teams took part in this year's installment of the multi-sport relay. Last year's event was cancelled due to extreme cold. While some parts of this year's race look like a winter wonderland, other sections look more like spring. They're the sights of another January race in Prince George. Snow-covered cross-country trails and hundreds of competitors beginning a long trek. But unlike past years, these skiers are taking off in 5 degrees Celsius. Well, it makes the snow a little more granular and icy and stuff like that. Um, but they've done a good job of grooming it for this morning, so it should be good for the, the start of the race. So I'm looking forward to it. Tim Antill and his competitors made it through eight kilometers of trails at the Otway Nordic Ski Center. While some excelled, others floundered. A quick transition between teammates or you can leave it there for now. More juniors and, and it's time for the run. Well, now that there's no skating, it's going to be 15K and then hopping into a pool, so it's going to be kind of exhausting. <laughs> oh. The streets of Prince George looked better suited for the slush man than the ice man, but that didn't stop runners from pounding the pavement towards the outdoor ice oval. The warm weather forced the closure of the skating component of this year's PG Iceman, meaning one runner had to pass off to the other. Last year with the event having to be cancelled because it was too cold, uh, this is a long time coming for us. So yeah, it's great to see everyone out here. The weather's beautiful, uh, a little warm with this having to cancel the skate, but uh, otherwise it's, it's great for spectators and participants. About 100 volunteers took part, many guiding runners as they twisted and turned through the streets. Organizers say it's all part of the northern attitude. It's a celebration of Prince George. It's, it's a real focus on the events that we like to participate in in the winter and the skiing and, and the outdoor skating and the running. Um, and it really brings together the community. The event wraps up with an 800 meter swim. That's where Caleb DePutter says he started to struggle after a long, hard run. It's good to have a buddy running beside you. Just give her a little fist pound, a little high five. Keep it energetic. I often pray too. Just Come on, give me some strength here. <laughs> Solo or team, frigid or mild, many competitors made it to the finish fueled by determination and the spirit of the sport. Ryan Kessler, CKPG News.